Oh, nice. It's in good shape. I cleaned this here about three or four this years ago. And you don't have to clean them much more often than no. that, right? So I don't see any serious scratches on it. I watched this thing. Yeah. Have they ever spot? No. Just keep it on there. It'll, it'll stay on there. It's just uh, it's, uh, actually electrical. <laughs> But it seems nice to okay. So you guys can feel the water if you want, you know, just sort of warm. That's right. One drop. One drop. This is just a joy. <laughs> this is basically right now just to get any of the grime off the thing, you know, real obvious stuff. Awesome. Because of all the water, I'm going to put one more drop in. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's quite a bit of water. It's a big tub. You put any effort into swooshing it? Yeah, what's going to happen is the cotton balls are going to swoosh on the top mm -hmm. of it very gently. Oh. Um, but uh, even you're going to notice that well, what I'll do is I'll drag cotton balls across it. If you okay. do scratch it, are you just going to scratch the aluminum or are you going to scratch the glass? Yeah. I don't I know. I didn't, no, I didn't mean to predict one. I'm not, I'm not I'm gonna scratch, scratch it. But if I were to do that, I'll, I'll get I'll get the SO SSIO2 over code. Okay. Now this is this is a different only technique. scratch the glass, not the one I was taught. <laughs> yeah. And there what we we were told not to use cotton because the cotton the strands follow it oh. and they leave oh. sleeks in the aluminum. Oh. But those weren't always overcoated aluminum and now it's pretty yeah, much Right. Silicon dioxide overcoated. So. Right. That's kind of a neat little sheet. It is cotton, and it's and I, I used to use these because they're kind of put they're kind of pressed together better, mm -hmm. so they don't just kind of fall apart. But what we used instead, okay, so was we used our fingertips. Well, wow. and you you got your fingertips, you soaked them to get all the oils off, mm -hmm. and you got them till they were like puckered. Yeah. And then that's softer than anything that doesn't have oh. sneaks in it. Oh. And you do you swish just above the mirror. And then after that, if there's still grime or something on it, then you would contact the mirror with your fingers very lightly and swish okay. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tim has prepared a... And that's the technique I still use. I think a one-to-one, -one, right? That's one-to-one, yeah. Yeah, that's one -to -one. Um, we, we, you can try this. You know, it it works okay. It, it works pretty well. I just generally use um, distilled water as the final wash off. Like you ha I, I think that you want to have your final wash of distilled water. To, re to yeah, okay. just take everything, okay. anything that's on there, off. Okay. So this, I just kind of drag the little guys around. Mm -hmm. I'm not pushing on them. I'm yeah. just dragging them. Yeah. Just like that. Maybe a little more than a quarter inch, about a three-eighths inch depth. Yeah, just enough that. to yeah. slosh above it. So, yeah. And the, the water's uh, nice and warm. It's yeah, warm enough for the glass. Yeah. Well, it's quite a... Mass. And even if we get a couple of beads in the end, it's not going to hurt this mirror. It's a phenomenal mirror. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, thanks. Okay. That's so what we'll make a little bath. Because this is a, it's a reasonably deep mirror. Yeah. That's, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so you go ahead. So this is going to be 50 50 isopropyl alcohol and distilled water. A little old, but I, I, I completely. But look at how that. Look at yeah. the. And again, a look warm at the look. mirror is going to let that alcohol get scooped. But you can see how it's it's uh, it's playing with the surface. This will probably help with the beading too. You'll mm -hmm. take the beading out. And you can actually take a couple of these cotton balls now and just drag that over really, really light. It has a weird feel to it. And then we then we'll go and uh, really go after the the rinsing. Oh, sorry. But you can you can feel that right? It feels oh, yeah. completely yeah. different. It's almost uh, it almost has a little bit of an abrasive it's feel. Tub. A little bit of a yeah, tug. I'm not pushing. Remember, I'm not pushing. But that's where I got a little bit. Like I said, I used straight isopropyl, and, and, and most of the time, you, let's go ahead and do a rinse on your, your creation. Go ahead, get that bottle. It's right there. Okay. This is, this is Pour that shit on there. We'll see if this, yeah. you know, gets rid of the beating. Well, now we want to do distilled. We really, and 
Jerry's theory is that this will not. Right. His theory is that it won't work, but let's try. Okay, see, my theory would just be to try. Okay, right now. over the over the tub a little bit. They're trying to hone in and get Good Tim. Okay. Where's the line? I think it was out of range just now. <laughs> You're all good on this. Oh, oh, the blotting? Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see how much of this stuff I can get off. Let's try this. Okay. What kind of cloth is that? It's just a microfiber cloth. They use it. A lot of the camera shops have these. And it's a. Uh, they use them a lot for cleaning off the What I don't want is I don't want any streaks to come off of it. Right. Okay. You know you two guys are T and T. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's an improvement. Check it out. That looks really good. Okay, let me get a towel over here. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, Tom, put that sucker over here. The monkey's over there. Put that down here. So no, no spit. That's a clean man. And that looks, really, that looks really good. Yeah, that should last many years. He keeps putting the lid on it right, because I made a lid for that telescope. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it works. With a little wooden handle. Remember yeah. That's cute. I like that. You can even tell in the video that it's clean. <laughs> okay.